Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. And in my this particular video, I am going to discuss one very interesting image feature extraction technique. Okay. So if you just consider any image, any color image, we can say one of the most important feature of those images is color, right? And from color, we can extract very important feature like what is the dominant color? What is the average color? Average color more in de more detail way we can say what is the average red uh, pixel value, what is the average green pixel value, what is the average blue pixel value like that, right? So all these features, if we able to extract, what we can do further, we can use this extracted feature to train some machine learning or deep learning model, right? So in this video, I am going to show you one such feature extraction which is dominant color extraction from an image okay and for this i am going to use very popular unsupervised machine learning algorithm which is k means right so in my previous video i have already explained you how we can use uh, k means clustering algorithm for image segmentation right so basically what we do uh, we basically group uh, the different pixels into different different clusters and then we replace all the pixels okay for, uh, by its corresponding cluster center right now what we can do if we able to count just try to understand very carefully the algorithm which is used for dominant color extraction what we will do for each cluster we will count how many data points are present okay and for that cluster where maximum number of data points are present corresponding to that whatever cluster center we will be getting that is nothing but dominant color right as simple as that so that is the central idea here i have written the code the same way what i have used previously clc clear all close all warning off then i am using ui get file to pick image that may be jpg that may be png does not matter to make the code little bit generalized and this is the normal syntax i have used thousand times earlier if user press control then this particular thing has to be followed else this particular part first we are concatenating path name and file name and based on the file name we are reading the image and then we are showing the image and giving the message to user to enter the k value which is required for k means right then this particular code is nothing but image segmentation using k means whatever i have discussed previously and then finally what we have to do see this particular part is very important this one this one is extra added part which is basically calculating the frequency or count or, or number of pixels for each cluster okay so what we are doing we are creating one empty array frequency and this is used for counting uh, number of pixels for each cluster present in my k means clustered set okay so for i equal to 1 to k one that is that the k number of clusters will be formed then we are traversing in my image row wise column wise and then m m what is that m c m n equal to k means data comma number of classes so m is basically storing after receiving m is nothing but index each pixel is coming under which cluster that index m is storing so if m of a comma b that is that particular pixel which is basically converted to one particular cluster value equal to equal to i so we are incrementing the count at that time and if we just traverse this particular two nested for loops completely then for one particular cluster what is the total number of pixel present that will be stored in temp variable we are storing that in frequency and then creating temp equal to zero right as simple as that then we are using pi chart to plot the frequency okay now frequency is okay but i want to visualize using the corresponding color also so we are using color map n what is n n is nothing but the cluster centers see mn equal to k means data comma number of uh, 
classes okay so in the second parameter is nothing but giving us the cluster centers so based on the cluster centers we will color our pie chart that's all color map is nothing but used to define color scheme okay so what i will do i will now run the whole code code will be posted in the description box or in the comment section no need to worry about anything so first let me take this image okay and here let us try to understand see if you observe this image you can clearly understand that the dominant color is yellow color right but computer cannot understand this simply that's why we are using this machine learning so i am giving a value as 3 and if i just hit enter see this pie chart i will be getting figure is showing this one is original image this is clustered image and this is corresponding pie chart 71 percent okay dominating is yellow yellowish then this color 17 percent and this one is 12 percent okay now a value you can control you can apply elbow method also but this is all okay to get the dominant color like i can show you one more suppose i am taking maybe uh, this color this image okay so now suppose i am giving k value as 5 and if i just run obviously it is going to take some time and you can understand see this is our original image this is clustered image and you can see that 53 percent is uh, consist of this particular color which we can easily understand right? that this this is dominating cloud color okay then again if i just run this code and take some other image maybe this jurassic park image i am taking it is quite clear black is dominating right suppose i am giving k value as maybe five i am giving randomly you can play with this okay see the color distribution okay black is this much 87 percent obviously quite clear yellow is some part okay red is this particular one set okay then there is little bit white part which is here the writing part jurassic park and there is one very small brown type part which is present i guess here see inside this white color j there is thin patch of brown color j also so like those are indicating that brown color okay this is my clustered image and this is my original image right i can run this code once more suppose i am running for maybe this image and here i am supposed to zoom k value as maybe 5 and if i just run i will be getting this one so the dominating color here we are getting as black okay right and here we can see this is my clustered image which is obviously little bit degraded because image compression is happening due to application of k-means clustering and this is my original image right so i hope you have understood this simple idea how to extract the dominating color what you can do you can take the maximum frequency and corresponding to that the cluster center will be basically my dominating color right so this is another very interesting image feature extraction technique which i wanted to discuss this is all for my this video thank you for watching